Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance built upon Web3 technology. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Stargaze, which bills itself as the first interoperable layer one for NFTs within the Cosmos IBC ecosystem. It includes an NFT launchpad and marketplace, all built upon its own chain. For my own safety, I like to click links from an official Twitter page to take me to a website, in this case, stargaze.zone. Then, when I click Launch App, it takes me straight into the NFT marketplace. I was staking a little bit of Atom and Osmo when they took the snapshot for the STARS token, so it looks like I'm entitled to a bit of a STARS airdrop. I really like how they've done this airdrop. They've given me different missions that I have to complete if I want to get all the tokens that have been assigned. I get to just claim the initial 20% for being here, but then the other ones require a bit more work. I'm going to have to stake some STARS to one of the validators on the network. Now I usually like to do this going through my Kepler wallet. I tend to avoid the validators at the top just to encourage a bit more decentralization. And I know these guys here, the crypto crew from the Terra blockchain. So I'm going to delegate some stars to them. And delegating some stars tokens is just me playing my part to secure the network. Then when I go back to the airdrops page, it shows me that I've completed two of the missions. So the next thing to do is to vote on a governance proposal. But just looking at it, it doesn't appear that there's any active at the moment. So I'll just have to skip this mission for now. Doesn't look like I can mint either. So I'm going to go to the secondary market and buy an NFT. It looks like a really cool marketplace although there's a couple of things that might make it a bit stronger in my eyes. And the first being that I'd quite like to see the floor price indicated on this main page. And just a bit of a personal preference, I find with all the flashing imagery, it's a bit of a sensory overload for me. I quite like the look of these colonial cats, but I'm afraid I don't have enough stars to purchase one just now. So looking for a project that's maybe a bit more suitable for my budget, These Stargaze MFers look pretty cool and the price is right, so I'm going to get one of these. One other thing I'd quite like to see as I click into these collections is it would be nice if there was a link to the project page so I could maybe find out a bit more about the artist and the background of the project itself. I quite like number 104. I love that it's got a wristwatch on. I used to have a wristwatch as a kid, so. Yeah, this one looks like a good choice for me. The funny thing is that because of the low price of these NFTs, I'm actually going to end up with more stars after I purchase one. This is the first time that I've actually done any transactions on Stargaze. The user experience has been really intuitive and straightforward. I've managed to collect some free airdrop tokens and then buy myself a nice NFT. You can see that I've now completed three out of the five missions. One thing that I really appreciate from the Stargaze team is that they've tried really hard to get the tokens into the hands of the people. I mean, I didn't really have very much Atom or Osmo staked, but yeah, I've managed to get thousands of these stars tokens. I'm really quite happy with my Stargaze MFR right here. Now, if you were staking Atom or Osmo on the 11th of October last year, you might actually be entitled to some free STARS tokens. If you've used Stargaze before, I'd really love to hear about your favourite NFT project. And as I leave you with this picture of my Stargaze MFR, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that like button and share this video with your cosmonaut friends. If you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.